All right. Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a great week so far. It's Monday, first day of the week. Or, well, not technically the first day of the week. It's actually the second day of the week. But at least you have the whole work week to look forward to. Anyway, I've been doing my classes to renew my license and thought I needed to take a little bit of break and maybe go ahead and put a video out. And as some of you might know, I've been messing around with uh, Void Linux again lately and I just love Void Linux. And if you've installed Void Linux lately, chances are you've chosen one of the uh, pre-configured desktop ISOs that Void puts out or you've chosen one of the respins like Agarim OS from my good friend Jose or there's also Gabby OS which is a Void respin with the GNOME desktop or GNOME whichever way you want to pronounce it. I won't get into the political side of all of that because I don't use GNOME slash GNOME. So it really doesn't matter to me personally. But that's okay. Anyway, if you're like me, you like to build your own system. And Void does supply a base ISO where you can just download the absolute bare minimum needed to get you started and then you add whatever you know, whatever you want on your system from Xorg up to a desktop environment or window manager, the applications you want, and of course there's some other things that go on behind the scenes you'll need to add. Let me, uh, let me pull up file manager here and I'll show you my list of applications that I install for an open box system. And I will just show these real quick. All right, you can see here we go through all this. Got this uh, Xorg minimal, got elognd, got opcomp, and down here to pfetch. Got 44 items that I install for a working open box window manager system on Void Linux. So there you go. That's a quick look at what I install. <laughs> and of course, you have to set up your services to run whichever ones you need to run. So let's look at that real quick because what we're going to do today, maybe you're like me and you like to build your own system and instead of using uh, w WPA Supplicant and all that to connect with your Wi-Fi, maybe you're like me, you're getting a little older, you just want things to be a little bit easier and you want to use Network Manager. Well, as you can see, I don't have Network Manager running. Um, let me pull up my terminal. Now, what we're going to do first of all, we're going to CD into etcsv. I think that's right, yeah. And we're going to list. Now, there's all the available services. Now, you can see there is, if you go through here, op and alpha, alphabetical order. <laughs> I don't have Network Manager. And let's look where those services actually go. Let's get out of that and we'll CD into var service and list. All right, so here's the here are the actual services that I have running right now. I don't know if I actually needed to start the Pulse Audio service. I don't know. I just don't know. Maybe I should read up on it. <laughs> but I went ahead and started it. And you can see there is no network manager. And that's because there is no network manager installed. So let's go ahead and do that real quick because I want to have the convenience if I take this laptop uh, to the local coffee shop. I want to be able to easily connect to the available Wi-Fi. Or if I take it somewhere else with me on vacation, I want to be able to easily connect, right? 
I mean, that, that makes sense. So, okay, here we go. Let's get out of that. Let's clear that. And let's do a sudo xbps install. Uh, I think if I install network manager applet, it ought to install network manager too. Makes sense to me. I don't know. Oh dear, look at all that. It's, yep, there it is right there. It's going to install Network Manager also. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm only connected to their, their one uh, default repo. I don't use the non-free or you know any of that. Nothing against it, I just don't use it. I don't need it. Just like I don't need the AUR in Arch. Oh, and by the way, Arch, Ob Menu Generator is in the default repo on Void Linux. All right, we have Network Manager installed now. So, according to Void Linux documentation, if you want to uh, run Network Manager, you need to disable the services like DHC, HPD, whatever that was called, and WPA supplicant. <laughs> so let's look again at which services are actually running. CD var service. And list it. Okay. Now I know WPA Supplicant is not running because I've just been using a wired connection. So according to what I have in the actual uh, service directory, I need to first disable DHCPCD and then I need to remove it. And then I need to add Network Manager. So let's do that. So let me look here. Okay. First we're going to turn off the DHC PCD service. Okay. So sudo sv down DHC PCD. And now we're going to remove. So sudo rm var service dhcpcd dhcpcd there we go now let's list those services again whoops cd into var service and list Oh dear, I don't have any internet connection. Oh dear, let's, oh, I think I can remove this ethernet cable. Here we go. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can do an update now. <laughs> Because I don't have any internet connection. <laughs> sudo xbps install dash su. La di da, la di da, la di da, la di da. Hmm. Looks like something must be wrong. Oh dear. Oh dear, what's what's going on here? I don't have any Oh no, there's an error. Oh my word. What? It's actually listing <laughs> Oh no. Let's see. I'm gonna say no. 
and I'll try to I'll try to upgrade one of them. sudo x xbps install dash u x term. Let's see if that. Yeah, let's do that. Oh no, it looks like something's taking a while. Hmm. Something must be wrong here. It's acting as though I don't have an internet connection. This is taking a while. Oh no! It didn't work. It's acting as though I don't have an internet connection. <laughs> so, how, let's get our network manager in there. All right, let's clear that. <laughs> let's see. I believe I know how it's name but I'm going to double check so let me cd into etc sv and list there it is right there capital N and capital M alright so sudo ln dash s etc sv network manager to var service all right cd var service list and there it is hooray now, I could start the service now, but what I like to do, this is just my personal choice. I like to just go ahead and reboot the system. That way I can make sure that it is actually running at startup, and that's what I'm going to do. Uh, before I do that, let me CD out of that. Let me clear everything, and let me close that. Uh, I don't know if I already have that on my auto start so let me check real quick it'll be down here at the bottom yeah I already have it on here so the next time you see me I should have the network manager applet showing down here in the system tray and we will be able to connect to our Wi-Fi so I will be right back. All right, we are back. Now you might notice I don't have my little update notifier showing down here, and that's because I'm not connected, or I wasn't connected to the internet whenever I first booted the system. So what I'm going to do, you can see my network manager now is running, though it's not connected. So let's click on that, and we will connect to my Wi-Fi network, hopefully. And let's do this. And connect. Now for the moment of truth. <gasps> it says we're connected. Oh my word, look at that. Let's see if we can actually run an update. update in the repo <gasps> there was no error yes look at there it's download we did it we can do it Dan we can do it <laughs> so there you go how to install network manager get it running correctly on void Linux if you've built your own system 
I don't know how many of the void ISOs come with Network Manager pre-installed and already set up so you can just click on it and go. But if you build your own system and you want to use Network Manager, there you go. All right, that's it. I'm not going to make you sit here and suffer through all these updates. I'm going to end the video now. And you guys have a great week coming up. It'll be a while before I make another video. So you guys take care. All right. Thanks.